Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So there is a particular function in this game called friends where if you leverage it properly you can really advance much quicker and perhaps remove some of the blockers along the way. For starters, playing with friends and co-op mission will bring you the friendship medal that you can trade in for characters such as the Sleeping Beauty or the Rat Riding Hood as well as many other material. Now if you're on the Royal User Service you can get up to 5 medals per day otherwise it's 3 per day and you can purchase the RUS in the shop right here. Making friends in this game is simply by following them and there's a few ways to go about doing this. You can go to the friends menu, select follow, and from here you can publish your friend pass that other people can use to follow you, or vice versa, you can enter theirs right here. You can also do this by using the player ID code found on their profile. There is also a limit to how many people you can follow and how many followers you have, as well as a blacklist for anyone that have offended you in any shape or form. Not exactly sure what people need to do to get there, but it's here if you ever need it. Alternatively, you can join in on any co-op battle, so if I take a quick run at a story mission for Velocity, perhaps a quick update to see if there's any changes. I also find the filter function really useful to narrow down the number of missions for what you're looking for. This comes in very handy when there's any time-limited events like Gorilla. While we're here, I want to mention something very briefly for the beginners players out there. You want to ensure that you are doing 5 runs per burst for the Shadow Memory or Clock Rapid event and 10 runs per burst for the most recent MV event. If you click into the details, it shows you the additional reward you can get from the verse, and this gives you a good reason for at least 5 co-op matches daily with other people live. In addition, a quick note here for the co-op matches, you can only join into missions that you yourself have unlocked or have completed. For now, let's do a quick run for a story mode. Okay, so let's go with chapter 1-4. So basically, depending on your co-op settings, anytime you, when you run a missions, others can join in with you. And generally, I make a nightmare summon the moment I enter the battle, but this is only chapter 1, so we should be fine without it. In addition to that, something that I really recommend is, if you're not clearing the missions for the first time, I always choose the co-op battles. Usually, you get in within the first wave, but sometimes, perhaps the second and the third wave, and you can save time that way by really skipping a few rounds, especially if you're using a 10 minute or 30 minute drop file. Oh, I've been noticed. Hopefully I can send this sticker back in time. And hello back to you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, if you're watching this video, good job to you too. Now, before you exit too quickly, at the end of each battle, you do have the option to follow the players that you were just in a co-op battle with. So let's go ahead and follow all of them. To maximize your chances in acquiring friendship medals, ideally you want to follow as many people as you can. Now, with the missions that you need to unlock or complete for the first time, having a random CPU or AI in your battle does not provide a good consistency. So this is where you want to spend some time to find 4 players that are much stronger than you that can really help you clear through the PvE. Here's a few ways you can find these folks. If you're in a guild, the top 4-5 to five players in the guild are probably people that you can access most immediately. So go to the list, go to the profile, and then you can follow from there. Alternatively, we can go back to the co-op matches. And what you want to do differently here is only select the toughest or the highest mission that you have unlocked or completed. Chances are you'll run into people of similar points or higher than you. So in this case, I'll probably find people around the 35 to 45 point range for verse 10 and you can then follow them at the end of the battle. Now the last method will take a little bit more time and patience but it will probably bring you the best results. So what you want to do is to go to rank, search for the top kills, and then go through their list. Chances are, you're going to find that people have their followers maxed out, but once again, all you need to do is find 4 players that can really support you in the PvE battles. Now, in order for these 4 players to be part of your party when you're doing individual missions, what you want to do is go to stories and go to your co-op settings. Most of you will have anyone toggled on, which is where random people can join into your missions, but what you want to go for is the select the friends, and then click on select friends in order to select the parties or members that you want to be part of your team and naturally you can go a little bit creative here and ensuring that you have a cleric a buffer some decent dps for the right mix so guys by this point if it's not in any way obvious enough what i've been trying to say is it's time for you to headhunt and spy on people all jokes aside but having a decent team can really help you clear any events you're currently having trouble with with that guys thanks for watching i hope you took something away from this video kindly support my channel by subscribing and i'll see you guys inside the game